Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Scorpion 2 and the Maximus Lizard to unbrick a Philips BenQ drive. If you remember, the Scorpion 2 has been used on fat light on drives to retrieve the keys and to unbrick Samsung MS25 and 28 drives. Now we're going to show you how to use it on a Philips BenQ drive. For this test, we've connected the BenQ drive, we've removed the bottom cover, connected the SATA, and we have the power connected to our power drop. Of course, you could also use any other power device on the market, you know, a power dongle, CK3, or even a extractor. It really doesn't matter. In this first example, we're going to show you how to force the drive to enter vendor mode. At this stage, the drive is normal, so it's not necessary. You could currently use the magic key or the Jeremiah method, but we just want to show you how to attach the Scorpion 2 to the BenQ to force vendor mode. Now remember, for this test, the drive is normal. Now if you just try to enter venture mode on the first option, it will fail. As you see here, it just gave us an error 51. Because at start, the drive is protected against entering vendor mode. So we're going to power off the drive and we're going to connect the Scorpion 2. Now you only need to use the black wire of the Scorpion 2. The red wire is not used on this. So we'll take our Scorpion 2 and we're going to touch the MPX01 point. We'll show you a close up here in a few seconds. We'll go ahead and touch this specific point. We'll power on the drive. We go back to our lizard and you'll see it'll immediately go into venter mode. See, there we go. It went immediately into vendor mode. Now we can do the read or write very easily. Here's a close up of the MPX01 point that we need to go to that forces this drive into read write mode. Now in the second part of this video, we will show you a test on a real BenQ drive that we're going to intentionally brick. Now in order to do this test, we're going to manually corrupt the file and then flash it over to the drive. It's not recommended you do this test yourself. This is just an example of what can happen during a bad flash and how we can use the lizard to be able to recover this drive. Here we have a copy of the BenQ file that we dumped. We have it open in a hex editor 
and we're going to manually change a few of the lines here. Then we're going to save this file and flash it to the drive. As you can see, the values have changed. We're going to save the file. Now this firmware file is corrupted. Now we'll proceed to flash this file over to the BenQ drive and continue with the test. As you see we skipped ahead showing you the flashing process. Okay, the drive is now officially bricked. Now we're going to attempt to enter vendor mode using MTK. And you'll see that it will fail. And because it's corrupted, it'll throw a error of 8-0. See, it's a common misconception that if the drive is corrupted or bricked that it will automatically enter vendor mode and that is untrue. As you can see here it fails to go into vendor mode so it's giving us error status 80 when it should be giving us a status 51. So it's refusing to enter vendor mode. Now since the drive will not eject, it's not detectable under Windows, there's no way you can get into vendor mode. But here we're going to show you how to do it. Again using the Scorpion 2. We attach the black wire and we're going to touch the MPX01 point on the drive. We'll go ahead and power up the drive and remove the Scorpion 2. Now we'll go back over to the Lizard and let's see if she'll go into MTK mode or Vendor mode. Immediately goes right into Vendor mode now we can go ahead and write a proper file to the drive and recover. When you're finished flashing the proper file, your drive will be unbricked. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Now the Scorpion 2 is now a BenQ Unbricker as well. Thanks for watching.